we have uh, taken a very current topic of uh, new dimensions and challenges in mental health. Uh, probably it's a very relevant topic to the present situation and we have a acclaimed speaker in midst of us who will uh, 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 will throw light on this particular subject. Uh, we have with us uh, Dr. Satish Kumar Avasti. He is presently serving as the principal of Institute of Medical Technology and Nursing Education, Rajasthan. Uh, sir had completed his doctorate in nursing as early as 2013. Uh, he has been a resource person at various national and international conferences. Uh, he has published two books as well and research papers in both national and international journals. Uh, so without wasting any time, I would request that you take over and uh, show more light on this subject. Sir, yeah, thank you, Jaminji. Thank you. And uh, I welcome all the participants. Today's current scenario, we are facing fighting with the corona. Worldwide and within India. All health personnel, medical fraternity, or indirectly, we are having intensity and degree in different, different aspects of stress. The WHO, ICM, they have mentioned because of Corona, the mental issues are increasing. The people, those who were earlier happy, they were doing things in, uh, with perfection. Now, because of this situation, they are not able to complete the task. That's why we have selected today's topic that is challenges and new dimensions in mental health. I hope that you all are happy, you are safe at your home, whatever you are doing, you are happy with this. Because happiness is with among ourselves. This cannot be purchased from somewhere else. It cannot be given by others. We have to understand the self. We have to understand the limitation, strength, and weakness. Then only we can work with this current scenario. Challenges and new dimension in mental health is very vast topic. I will try to do my level best. Next slides, please. completion of this webinar, the participants will be able to what? First is understand misconcept as a challenge in mental health. We have mental health team worker, mental health professionals or health personals. We have many misconcepts about mental illness even in general public that we are going to discuss. We'll discuss the understand challenges and roles and responsibilities which are placed by health personnel and psychiatric nurse or team members. And we'll have discussion regarding challenges in providing psychiatric care within psychiatric ward. Working with the psychiatric patient it is not easy task. It has many challenges. If you work in general hospital, other specialty hospital, the patients, whatever, they are telling that is taken granted. But in case of psychiatry, the scene is different because of unsound mind, because of different setup and setting. So that we are going to discuss. And what are the new dimension and development in mental health that we are going to discuss. Next slide, please. Now let us understand why this topic is taken for discussion. Any things which we want to bring change, we have to consider main three factors. That is challenge. Second is the control. And third one is commitment. In today's condition, when we talk about the corona, we all are facing the challenge. Whole world is facing this challenge, how to fight with the corona as the number of the patient is increasing, spreading like anything. But we have certain guidelines by government to control over it. And same time, what are the responsibility as a citizen? That is the commitment. And we work together 
then only we will be in condition to control over the corona same thing is applied like the mental health if you want to develop in this aspect mental health or psychiatric department we have to consider all these three factors that is a challenge what are the challenge we are facing that we are going to discuss in detail so with the help of these these three factors we will be able to bring change in future with the mental health aspect we will be more competent more uh, we will be more uh, expert in the dealing the things when we work on this challenge control and commitment next slide please there are some facts about mental health let us understand the what are the facts about mental health and mental illness worldwide as well as in india worldwide out of now nine people one person is suffering with mental illness this is the alarming that out of nine people one person is suffering with some or other sort of mental disorder or behavioral problem in comparison with the normal person mentally ill person die 10 to 20 year earlier because of unsound mind because of they are not able to maintain their personal hygiene the quality of life is changed that's why they are dying earlier 10 to 20 years compared to the normal human being so that is also another alarming fact and challenges for all the medical fraternity and psychiatric department another very important that is every year 8 lakhs people commit suicide recently we have seen from bollywood one of the actor he committed suicide there are many challenges that may be because of their personal issues financial work related what whatsoever the reason but this is the fact we cannot ignore it that every year around 8 lakhs people are dying or committing suicide they are ending their life with this painful torturing aspect so this is a very big challenge and uh, we have to work on this then mental disorders are among the leading cause of non fatal disease burden in india this is another fact due to the depression and anxiety commonly and this is the major part of the mental illness due to this depression and anxiety worldwide we are spending around 75 lakhs crore rupees just can you imagine how much huge amount we are spending on this to manage or treat only depression and anxiety we are not talking about other mental psychotic disorders we are not talking about uh, schizophrenia mania only if you consider only two that is depression and anxiety this much expenditure 75 lakhs crore is huge amount that much we are worldwide we are spending on this next slide please now let us understand what is the meaning of the challenge what is challenge life is with full of challenges See, when we start the day we start with the challenge but we have to accept the challenge and we have to come forward from that with the acceptance with competence with the training and skills the simple meaning of if we talk about challenge that is it is a competitive situation or fight to decide who is superior in term of ability or strength challenge is what it is competitive situation in that one or other person decide their ability of strength or who is superior we might have seen many uh, tv serials they are having, having challenging task fear factor khatra khatra khiladi so the situation and challenges are given but that is the situation and they complete their task and as per their strength in simple term if you talk a call to prove or justify something is also known as challenge challenge can be it is the engage someone in some contest so simple is in term the meaning of challenge is competitive situation next slide please next slide yeah 
So when we were talking about why this topic is taken, first is the challenge. Second factor, which is important, that is the control. And third is the commitment. Now let, let us understand what is control. The control is the power to influence or direct people's behavior or the course of event. If we talk about Corona, we can see the challenges, number of the patients are increasing. Control, the power of influence, how the people are, the behavior is changed. The government has given quarantine and then uh, they have to follow hand hygiene using mask to control the behavior and influence. Government initially was setting the setup to give the medical facilities if the number of the cases increasing. So we have to have the control over that. Same way, commitment, that is engagement or obligation that restrict freedom of action. So we have obligation and restriction like Corona. During lockdown, we were not supposed to go out. Now, as the uh, lockdown is uplifting, they have certain limits from morning 7 to 7, in the evening 7 p.m. You can walk, you can go around. So that is some certain restrictions. Same thing applied in psychiatric and mental health department. We have many challenges, but we have to change the behavior of people with the help of control and commitment. We have some sort of the rules and regulation which will exist and will bring change. So that's why these three factors are very, very important. Each and everyone has to understand. Next slide, please. Now, let us understand what are the challenges as a health personnel, psychiatry, in department, what challenges we are facing. Important one, first one is misconcept. Both public and professional. If we talk about the general public, they have many misconcepts. Even trained and qualified personnel are also having misconcept. Misconcept about mental illness, if someone is suffering with the mental illness, they have misconcept. This is because of something he has done in past bad. God has given punishment. This is because of some magical power. This is because of some evil spirit. Even they have misconcept. If you talk with a mentally ill person or if you work with a mentally ill patient, you will become mentally ill. It's very wrong. Not real fact. If you touch mentally ill patient, it's not communicable. But people are having fear. They have, if you talk, if you work with the mentally ill patient, you will one day, you will become mentally sick. So that is, even the misconcept the general public is having, if someone is having mental or behavioral problem, ask him to get married. He will be all right. He will be, uh, he will be all right after getting married. This is also the misconcept. Another misconcept, if someone is mentally ill, he will remain lifelong mentally ill. It depends on degree and intensity of disorder. It's not for all. Psychotic patients, they recover very well, but the people and professional, they are having misconcept about this mental illness. So this is the challenge for a health, health professional and psychiatric team member to deal with this. So this can be uh, done with the help of creating our awareness among the general public and organizing uh, some uh, programs which helps in uh, uh, clarifying their myths about and facts about the mental illness. We can have some exhibition, we can arrange some conference and workshop. On the basis of some specific area, we can have pamphlet. So that is great awareness, take help of uh, media, print media, electronic media, have some discussion and lecture. So that will help in understanding the misconcept. Second and one important uh, challenge which we are facing that, that is stigma and discrimination. If someone is having cardiac problem, if someone is having diabetic, hypertension, they are more concerned about health. They come forward, they, they take treatment. But in case of when it comes to the mental health or mental illness, people have social stigma. Even family member, they do not want to disclose the facts. They do not share information. They do not discuss about the other people. Fear of that. If others will come to know, they will have they will have the different different uh, negative attitude. They will have social stigma. People start discriminating them. 
they will not involve them even their growth and personal even marriage related issues will come in existence because of that this is another challenge with psychiatry department mainly facing with the stigma and discrimination so we should not do this the mentally person is also the part of our community he or she should be treated in, with dignity with respect but the family and us uh, and community we do not accept as the reality so stigma and discrimination is the another factor which is uh, creating vast gap with the theory and clinical practice so we have to work on this we should not have the social stigma and discrimination another challenge that is shift of practice from mental illness to mental health leaving a vacuum in care of serious mental illness when we are talking about to mental health same time mental illness there is a fine line which differentiate between mental health and mental illness if we do not have application applied form then it is like a vacuum practice and whatever is taught it is not followed in clinical and practice so this create confusion even in clinical setting if you look at back we have very limited resources for facility for the student even for exposure of mental psychiatric department even bsc student third year they are having subject mental health nursing psychiatry msc they do not proper exposure and whatever it is taught in the class it is not applied in the clinical because they are not getting exposure of the real picture they have not seen case what is the uh, what type of the patient will have the response in case of depression schizophrenia mania if you ask them even in examination only uh, some imaginary or uh, room setting practices are given so that is the vacuum from real facts from practice to the uh, clinical aspect so that creates vacuum so we have to work out on that whatever is fact that has to come in the existence so this is the another challenge then limited access to urgent psychiatric care we have limited services even if we find any mentally or behaviorally problems with within any one in community the referral services are very limited if we have some so urgent psychiatric we do not have proper facility to handle them so that is the challenge because of uh, unavailability of uh, psychiatric hospitals unavailability of psychiatrist unavailability of counselor that is another challenge so this is uh, ch another challenge for each and every one which we are facing in psychiatric department mark decline in hospital stay for psychiatric patient with disorder this is the challenge mainly with the psychotic disorder the prognosis of the patient may be poor because of that uoc requires prolong hospitalization so how to reduce it this is another challenge our uh, scientists researchers academicians they are working how to reduce the duration of hospitalization for mentally ill patient so that is another challenge which we all are facing next slide please inadequate reimbursement for time consuming that is talk therapy without compensatory procedural reimbursement many of the people they are not aware how to avail health facilities how to avail medical health policies if they are sick if they are government employee if they are work in private sector how they can get benefit from the medical aid policies that is if the patient is taken for psychotherapy talk therapy many of the uh, medical aid policies they do not cover so this may be one of the word and because you cannot treat the patient in a one or two session you cannot correct it requires multiple sessions and it may be financial burden on family so that is also another challenge the lack of parity of coverage for physical and mental illness very important we do not have equal weightage for physical problems compared to the mental health if we have any physical problem back ache headache fracture 
cardiac problem, immediately we come forward to take treatment. But in case of mental illness, we try to ignore. First of all, we do, do not identify, we don't understand. If you understand, they come, do not come forward for the treatment. They do not seek help. So that is the another challenge. The importance is given more for the physical problems compared to the mental problems. Because of that, the, the intensity degree of disorder is increasing. If we identify the mental health or behavioral pro problems in initial stage, we will be more capable or uh, we will be more effective in managing the treat or treating the patient at initial stage. But it is uh, very bad, commonly seen. Patient comes to hospital at the last. Before that, they try many other studies. They go here and they are wandering, do not take proper treatment. So that is another challenge, giving weightage for physical and mental illness. Mental illness are not taken so much seriously by the family member, by community, and they have a lot of ignorance. That is why the burden or incidence and prevalence of mental health or mental illness is increasing. The WH has given remarkable uh, uh, contribution and uh, they have that opinion. By the end of 2020, around 30 to 40 percent people have behavioral and mental problem. This is this was before the corona impact. Now let us see what is the impact and how the, this corona is also influencing our mental health. So we have to give the equal weightage. Then rapid decline of psychotherapy and shift towards drug therapy and mad checks practice. The psychiatric team members, the psychiatrists, they prefer more drug therapy instead of doing counseling. And sometimes they uh, practice wrong practices also, which is not as per the suitable condition but they, they do some sort of experiment or trial. So that is the wrong practice. That should be declined. And psychotherapy requires a lot of time. That's why sometimes they prefer that. Prescribe, give medication, we'll see later. So that should not be done. Counseling is also one of the important part which will help to understand the patient in a better way. And the patient will have better response. So that psychiatrist has to decide how to deal with the patient, whether the patient is requiring counseling, a drug or combined or multidisciplinary approach is required. So that has to be decided and appropriate interventions should be taken by the concerned team member or psychiatrist. Next slide, please. Expansion of criteria for psychiatric disorder is subsequent. We have uh, classification of mental disorders according to DSM Diagnostical Statistical Manual, which is given by American Psychiatric Association. Then ICD-10. We are using DSM-5 and ICD-10, but still there is a scope of expansion. Then some of the disorders are still not included, and they do not have proper criteria. They are unspecified, so we need to work on that, and it has to be inculcated in. DSM or ICD classification, this is another challenge. Because whatever we are uh, doing assessment, that is on the basis of patient behavioral and aspect. Mainly we are going to work with the mental aspect. Hope in future we'll have the, some sort of the technology strategies which will have impact on the brain uh, functionality. We will be able to identify the behavioral response. Both of various mental health professions in practice, not supervise the psychiatrist. Sometimes they are ignored. They are not given proper weightage. They are not. Uh, sometimes they do not get proper motivation. The so lack of motivation will and uh, that will reduce their efficacy and efficient working efficacy. Then criminalization of the seriously mentally ill. The person who is doing any sort of the crime he is not mentally healthy or he is not mentally sound. Whatever the crime he is doing, that is because of unsoundness of mind. So criminalization of the seriously mentally ill with misuse of jails as mental hospitals. Sometimes the patients are kept in the hospital and uh, because of their mental illness, they are uh, uh, doing any crime. So that is also one of the challenges. They should get proper uh, treatment. They should get the proper referral services. They should take 
to the psychiatry hospital counseling and there should be a uh, proper intervention should be taken so this is another challenge jails or hospitals are unnecessary we are keeping the patient in a jail and he or she is having some mental issues so that has to be taken care that but sometimes it is ignored so that is the challenge next slide please income inequality and class difference have the rich story that is that is very very important the person who is having high income and they are becoming richer and richer the people who is poor day by day they are becoming poor that is even they do not the poor people they do not have the knowledge how to avail the health services referral services even medical health insurance because of that they are even not coming for the treatment nowadays if you see the treatment for any sort of uh, disorder even common cold it is so expensive if you talk about the mental health or mental issues it requires long uh, duration so financial issues are so exist so that is the income gap is also one of the challenge there are no proper resources with the people even they do not have knowledge how to avail the medical health insurance policies to avail them that is the challenge another challenge that is broadening scope and the shift of community based mental health services introduce greater level of complexity and we are working in the mental hospital the setting infrastructure and roles are different but when we come to the community setting your era your fun functionality working style is different in community you may have many problem resources are not available infrastructure is not available referral services are not available so that affects your role you were more competent in uh, completing your task in uh, psychiatric hospital but when it comes to the community setting you are having a lot of troubles you are, you are complex because of complexity your role is not so much efficient which you were doing earlier so that is another challenge which we all are facing next slide please now let us see the challenges which we are facing in community characteristics how we are dealing with this situation and what all the challenges we are facing with mental health and mental illnesses so first is community characteristics so mental health configuration it is required so government and uh, state government and uh, central government they are working to provide the facilities for all whoever is having mental health problems they should be identified they should have the access so for that we have crisis intervention team case management community based and even they may have uh, uh, video conferencing facilities so we have to identify the uh, people those who are having some sort of behavioral and mental the problem risk group we have to identify those who are divorcee those those who are having uh, uh, separation so uh, senior citizens they are more prone to have some sort of behavioral and mental issues so that has to be keep in mind and we have to figure out we have to route uh, uh, plan a route map how to avail the facilities but if we talk in today's scenario we have only 4000 uh, professional mental health professional in india so just you can imagine the facilities for mental health personals and the people who are having mental health issues how they are getting so we do not have that much manpower so that is also affecting the services second is demand of services and and Another that is the challenge institutional characteristics. 
so wherever wherever you are working the institution ownership is also in plans whether it is the government sector whether it, whether it is the private sector and as on top patient ratio So manpower infrastructure is simultaneously required to deal with the mental issues. So institutional characteristics also are having challenge. So we have to have proper setup with the proper manpower. Then only we, we will be effective in dealing the mental issues. Next slide, please. And provider characteristic. If the person who is not having specialized training. Simple physician is treating mental issues, so it is very difficult for them to understand the what is actually the psychiatric issues. If we have lack of training, if you do not have proper exposure, then it is very difficult to understand the challenges of mentally ill patients. So that is for that we have structured training program for all professional psychiatrists, psychiatric nurse, social, psychiatric social worker. So they have to go under trainings to understand what exactly is mental health and mental illness and how to deal, uh, deal with this. So we need facility training, but lack of uh, facility, lack of infrastructure. Many of the students, they are not getting exposure. They are not getting opportunity to work with the mentally ill patients, so they do not understand. So that is a challenge. Method of payment also sometimes because of the financial issues, they are not able to manage the situation, burden. So that is also another challenge. Patients' characteristics, we have to identify demographic from which specific zone or area people are coming. What is people are having more uh, suspected or vulnerability, we have to identify. We have to identify whether the person is having insurance coverage. If the person is having insurance coverage, coverage then uh, he or she can adopt uh, uh, treatment more with the flexibility and accountability. We have to identify the risk factor, whether the poor are at risk, that has to be taken care, whether they are a senior citizen, whether they are having some sort of stress, whether they are having some failures, that has to be identified then protective factors counseling then primary prevention and all the preventive measures has to be taken and then only we'll be able to meet their needs and requirements next slide please another challenge at the level of entry status clinical as well as legal it's not very easy that if you, uh, you go to another hospital, specialty hospital, you get admission, hospitalization very easily. But in case of psychiatry, we have different different uh, strategies, legal aspects also they come, admission, discharge procedure, and some many other law are also existing. So that that has to be uh, is, uh, that has to be identified. What are the clinical implication or what are the legal aspect the person or the patient is having? That one one has to understand. Then diagnostic evaluation, that proper history should be taken, proper mental status examination, process record, whatever the tools are necessary, that has to be implemented and then only proper diagnosis should be done. Then must we must understand the severity, what type of severity uh, and how the person will respond and what is the comorbidity. That, that is also another challenge. If we do not assess the patient response on daily basis, then it uh, sometimes uh, we are failure in treating the patient. And some, if you are treating depression, sometimes you find the patient has become uh, very violent, aggressive. 
the patient is converted from depression to mania and other disorder so that has to be taken care you assess properly do diagnosis then find out the severity according to that plan your treatment then treatment approach may be different from psychiatrist to psychiatrist from uh, team to team so that uh, the style of treatment intensity frequency and appropriateness has to be taken care then only if you do have confusion that's why we have standard classification icd or dsm whether you are in india whether you are out of country the, as per the diagnostic criteria your diagnosis will remain same so you have we have the uniformity to understand what exactly is mental health or mental illness next slide treatment response very very important in secondary the drug compliance drug adherence is very poor because of the patient does not understand what is the severity that that may be because of lack of insight family members they do not come for follow up they, they do not adhere for the treatment after starting treatment if they find they are uh, feeling better they stop treatment without asking psychiatrist without consultation that's why the condition becomes worse so drug adherence and compliance is, is very very poor in psychiatry that is another challenge because of that we are facing many problem because once the patient feels start feeling all right he or she does not come to the hospital mainly with the psychotic patient change in symptoms medication effect and complication even that they do not report if they start having some uh, adverse effect so family members has to take this uh, step to understand and the team members should educate them the what are the drugs which are prescribed what type of the adverse effect they the patient may feel and what should be done that is important then clinical legal and follow up is very very important patient should be asked and uh, the family members should take the initiative whenever the patient uh, is asked to follow for follow up the family members should come but in real fact even family members they start neglecting the patient they do not come with the patient even for follow up they do not give proper treatment that's why the condition of the patient become worse and worse and their quality of life become very bad pathetic condition they develop that is the challenge next slide the challenges in a specific outcome in clinical setting we are having, having many challenges that may be because of manpower infrastructure lack of clinical guidelines proper uh, facilities are not able functionality if you are not able to function your role properly that is also the challenge that may be because of some scarcity of the resources which are not available and quality of life societal cost and mortality if someone is having mental and behavioral problems their quality is change even they have the financial burden and that is the challenge if it is if it does not challenge you it does not change you so that that's why we have to, if we want to change then we have to face the challenge whether it is specific whether it is clinical or in quality of life we have to take the challenge and with the help of your challenge control and commitment we will be in condition to bring change for the betterment of mental health services next slide the challenges on roles and responsibilities as a psychiatric team member as a health personnel we have different different role according to your uh, condition situation where you are working you are changing your roles and responsibility in that first is the therapeutic role as a psychiatrist or psychiatric role psychiatric nurse you have therapeutic role if you are not involved in treatment if you do not have team work if you are not aware about how to deal and how to help the patient for the betterment then your role is changed you are not able to complete your task and responsibility so it becomes failure for them so when you have your therapeutic role you involve yourself involve the other people and have the common goal that 
directly or indirectly patients should get benefit whether that psychiatrist psychiatric uh, so social worker psychiatric nurse whoever is working they should have the common goal that patients should get benefit from the treatment that is the therapeutic role we have to play then membership of multidisciplinary if you have different different role sometimes you may become confused and you are not clear with what should be done so it becomes a challenge so we have to be clear cut guidelines who and what and how it should be done who are supposed to do what type of work that has to be clear functioning in the diverse roles and setting when you are changing your settings your place then uh, that is also influencing your uh, functionality as per the uh, community setting district level sub center level center level so your role is changing and setting is changing so you are that you face the challenge broadening societal scope of psychiatric nursing as per who 2020 will be the psychiatric era so we have lot of scope for the psychiatrist and psychiatric social worker and counselor but the challenge is that we have to develop proper communication skills we should have the proper training then only we will be effective in dealing with all the challenges then part partnership working working with other team members we have to develop the leadership qualities if you have the leadership qualities then only you can influence in any area whether it is institution whether it is your uh, hospital or whether it is the team the leader has to have the command then they have to develop competence then dedication then only they can influence if the leader is very trained having good skills and cooperative then others will have the influence and they follow so the role model process will have impact on so if you are not a good leader then the failure may be information system we have to have the proper documentation information even referral services but because of lack of manpower lack of facilities sometimes informations are not communicated they are not uh, communicated from one person to another properly so the patients are left there only they do not uh, get proper treatment we have limited resources whatever the research work is going on that is not up to the mark then we do not have implication in clinical setting that may be for the theoretical part it is effect uh, it may be effective if we talk about the psychiatry uh, we need more involvement in clinical setting for the research in psychiatry we have to enhance the competencies to work in different different situations as we are working with the corona so earlier we were not knowing about how the things are uh, going to change but now we are developing competency we are having uh, all the facilities infrastructure ventilators ppa same way we have to develop the compet competency in dealing with the mental health issues the team should have should be competent to understand well enough the initial alarming stages of any behavioral and mental problem we have good career development opportunities even for uh, nurses even psychiatrists because now there is a lot of uh, requirement uh, scope for the counselor and psychiatrist and psychiatric nurse as many of uh, people are facing many challenges stress related problem pr and others so they have good scope and career developments then status and funding legislation and stigma they are also very one of the other challenges which we are facing stigma is also one of the important which we have to uh, work on that we have to minimize the stigma wherever we are working we should educate the other people to reduce the stigmatization next slide please working with the psychiatric patient is another challenge because if you are working in other hospital other specialty you 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 are uh, uh, less fearful that patient is going to attack but in case of psychiatry you do not know when the, and how the patient will respond you are taking round if you are not fearful if you are not alert the patient may attack on you god has given you two eyes but in psychiatric department to work you, have, you need four eyes so you have to develop internal eyes to identify any alarming stages or any initial change in psychiatry So working with the psychiatry patient is very very challenging for that we have to develop proper training 
the challenges in providing care with psychiatric wards may include that is political and rules of organization very simple we all know if you have political influence power and money you are treated well properly you flourish like anything and rules of organization also influence so that may be from differ to differ but government as per the guidelines we must follow but in practice it is not seen safety and security issues safety for both patient as well as the staff if you do not have proper safety of the health personnel psychiatric team member then it is dangerous to work with that so we have to take care of safety and security for the patient suppose the patient has, is having severe uh, depression and may have suicidal ideas so he or she may commit suicide so we have to take care that at the point of security whether the patient can jump from the top of the roof of the hospital or from window then we should not leave the patient in that scene security measures has to be taken care safety measures of all patient as well as health personnel should be considered but many of the times it is seen lack of security lack of safety it cause for another challenge for team member to work effectively uncertainty about the role sometimes you are confused if you are not uh, certain about your role if you are uh, very frequently shifted from one ward to another one place to another so your real role is changing and you do not know what should be done how it should be done and you are confused so uncertainty lead to the failure so sometimes this is also faced by the many of the people lack of trained staff like uh, if we do not have proper uh, trained staff then it is very challenging to deal effectively with the uh, psychiatric patient so we require trained qualified personnel psychiatrist psychiatric nurse and so psychiatric social worker occupational therapists and other psychiatric team members so if you are trained you are more competent you are more effective to deal the situation condition effectively then socio cultural issues also come in existence so that is that has to be taken care uh, as the person is coming from the society and their cultural belief and uh, they may have uh, misconcept that has to be taken care and it should be treated accordingly if the person is having some sort of the delusion hallucination so we, we must understand as a professional trainer or team member we should not have uh, 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 discrimination we should not fight with the patient we should not uh, have argument with the patient on some social and cultural issues accept the patient as he or she is as per the principles of psychiatry another that is limited resources very challenging we do not have that much facilities to deal with the all uh, manpower so because of limited resources people are not getting proper benefit or uh, health facilities even men mental health issues are ignored Com uh, the first if the Life. challenges role of mental health nurse that is we have two type of role passive role and active role now initially in ancient era the nurses were having more passive role but with the development of science development of technology development in education training and research now the nurses are playing their role as active as a equal part of the team psychiatric team they are having discussion they discuss with and they are involved in treatment and planning so we have to work for the active role instead of passive role always 
try to work with efficiency and effectively then only you will be active so you understand your strength and work on that and you will be competent enough then only you will get the recognition next slide challenges in role of mental health nurses that is the assessment if you do not have proper exposure for example a student is not having exposure how to use the tool of mental health assessment that is msc process recording history taking if they are not getting proper exposure of clinical in psychiatric hospital then it is very very challenging they will not be that much efficient to assess the patient effectively so that is also challenge assessment care planning if you have proper competency and training then only you will be in condition to plan your of your care of your patient according to degree and intensity of disorder all patients do not require the same type of care according to the disorder you have to plan your care so that is also another challenge drug administering secretary department is also facing this poor drug adherence even the patient they do not take drugs properly so as a psychiatric nurse as a psychiatric team member you have to Uh, administer the drugs whatever drugs are prescribed by the psychiatrist in indian scenario we do not have right of prescription but in uh, in other foreign countries even nurses they have right to prescribe so that is also one of the challenge then advocacy case management community care psychoeducation and psychotherapy is also becoming very challenging case management if you have experience in community and uh, working with the psychiatric patient in hospital so you will be more effective in managing case depression schizophrenia mania whatever the case you have seen then you will be more effective in managing even at community level psycho education counseling and psychotherapy required special training then communication skill and competency is required so doing counseling is and psychotherapy is not as simple as we think that if you are talking with the someone and you are doing counseling and psychotherapy no it requires some sort of the strategies then there are many principles which are followed so it has to be taken care in properly trained personnel should practice this next slide challenges related to lack of clinical guidance we do not have because of absence of national guidelines for mental health nurses that's why this is the challenge in some of the situation we do not have clear cut guideline how to deal how to manage how to work how to act for the mental health nurses so that is another challenge so we have to come forward and government has to take this initiate and leader has to come forward to develop national guidelines for the mental health nurses for their safety their, for their uh, functionality and services then lack of evidence based practices whatever we are doing if we do not have evidence or research base then it is useless now the people they started working on this whatever we are doing that is evidence based or that will definitely will bring change in mental health lack of research work and activity of professional bodies we have all the nurse researcher then pg students to take the uh, initiate they should initiate involve themselves in clinical research instead of doing research for pg that is stp and other so that uh, now it is very very important we must think about that will uh, the, we should select the research topic which is going to help society in some or in other way so activity of many professional bodies they have to come in on one platform and uh, they should have the common goal that will enhance the uh, strength of the nurses then only will be effective if uh, different different professional bodies they do not have common goal then we have the diversity and then we become weak so to work on any point effectiveness unity and team work is required so for that also because we have many association we have many professional bodies they are working for their betterment of self and professional growth but when we think about the nurses betterment and uplifting of the profession then we have to think for each and every one it should not only for one person for self development it should be for all so that is the challenge we all have to think about the profession growth 
next slide then challenges in the recovery focused care recovery focused care gives professional insight into service users need the involving family member in care is very important and at the same time we have to educate the family member how they should deal with the mentally ill patient whatever the behavioral problem so can be family involvement is very important for the recovery of patient as either in hospital or as well as at the community level or home so family members involvement they should be uh, uh, counseling or uh, the education should be given properly lack of time is often cited a reason for the nurses not focusing on recovery as we have multiple tasks we have different different work so the care and recovery is neglected so we should now focus on recovery part also we do more uh, lot of work documentation and others rounds and uh, because of that busy schedule the important part that is uh, patient care is neglected so that has to be taken in care do justice with your work nurses can provide person centered care for involving services you users in making decision about their care so that is we have to involve ourselves and uh, work with your efficiency next slide now let us understand what are the uh, new dimensions in mental health till now we have discuss about the challenges and roles and responsibility and the challenges which we are facing in psychiatric department working with the mental ill patient now the we are in a uh, new scenario we have a uh, new dimension in mental health so new dimensions of mental health include that is current practices and trends from ancient period with the today's uh, scenario we have come from descriptive to analytic or evidence based that is the new dimension new development now we are to focusing on analytic or evidence based practices compared to descriptive we have the evidence whatever the research trials or experiments which are going on for either treatments drugs and uh, approach they are now analytic so that is the new dimension new development in psychiatry then move to community care now we are uh, focusing at community level also psc csc sub center level and trying to approach the people at uh, grassroots level so they get benefit so this is the new dimension which earlier it was neglected now uh, the government is having this plan everyone should get the health facility assess and they should be get the proper uh, treatment then current status of psychiatry as a profession that is the discovery of effective anti psychotic and anti depression drugs raise hope so still we have challenges but uh, because of advanced drugs we have uh, good hopes and uh, patients are having uh, proper response then minimizing myths by creating awareness and education very very important new dimension now the uh, as we are having some seminar webinar then conference workshop activations that is to create awareness among and educating people about the facts about mental health and mental issues so uh, now this is practice that, that is uh, helping the people to become more aware about their health issues and even mental now the people are understanding mental health also we cannot ignore mental part physically if the person is strong and mentally if he or she is poor then we cannot say that person is healthy so we have to consider both physical as well as mental part next slide and academic and research in new dimensions we have to focus for uh, psychiatric research work so most of hospital do not have academic development and new research that influence the work because of lack of uh, academic orientation or uh, hospitals we do not have that much orientation only few hospitals like uh, one of the big hospital in india that is nemans they are having your academic institution they are uh, having research cell and they are doing wonderful job pgi chandigarh and ranchi there these are the given in agra mental hospital so they are the hospitals and they are having only orientation about the research and activity to the related to the mental health issue so that type of orientation is required and we have to focus on 
we have to enhance these facilities as per even uh, district state and central level then rural psychiatry the limited scope for uh, to provide psychiatric services in the rural area given we do not have sufficient number of psychiatrists psychiatric nurse psychiatric social worker occupational therapist so the services uh, are very limited in rural area now we have started with the telemedicine at psc level or video conferencing even nemans due to corona covid impact they have a counseling free online tool free number if someone is having any sort of feeling fear or stress they can have uh, even video conferencing telemedicine now the doctors and consultant psychiatrists sitting from other place they can even uh, treat the patient uh, on the basis of e, e, uh, e digitalization or digital platform video conferencing so many hospitals now they are using this even to treat psychiatric problems as well as other health issues so that is the new dimension earlier we everybody was uh, running to uh, hospital but uh, due to corona now we have the new dimension that even health facility consultation is available on your uh, one click that is digital platform so even in me mental health we have this dimensions yeah next slide please psychiatric facilities in metro cities as already i mentioned we have limited resources because of that the people are not getting proper facility as it is required there is a scarcity of infrastructure scarcity of hospital scarcity of manpower as i mentioned only 4000 psychiatric professionals are there in india so you can imagine and uh, the population of india how we can do justice with that it is not easy to handle the, all the situation so we need to develop more manpower emergency psychiatric services also are very limited because of uh, orientation facilities even the patients are not attended properly so that is also very important and psychiatric ambulance services have become a rarity and it is too costly now we have uh, even uh, psychiatric uh, ambulance services are started but uh, uh, if we look at the cost and uh, their availability is very uh, less it is not uh, very easy to implement it's very challenging uh, because cost is a one of the factor managing that ambulance and working with uh, other people it is so uh, costly so this is also but we have this facility they have started this uh, mobile team uh, facilities for mental health uh, problems that is inculcated next slide and insurance and other such services for the mental ill patient many health policies even they do not cover uh, mental health and mental issues insurance policies do not find it profitable to insure people for their mental illness because it requires long duration long duration treatment hospitalization also required for more time that's why most of the insurance policies they do not cover it even if a person commits suicide within a year of taking a policy beneficiaries do not get claim money so that is the challenge but some of organization of government employees they have benefit of uh, their uh, personal for health schemes but majority of people are not aware that that they can get benefited with the health insurance policies government people or at some organization they have developed their own policies to cover their mental health aspect if you are having health issues uh, diabetic that is covered hypertension that is covered if surgery that is covered but when it comes to the psychiatric illness most of the policies they are not covering mental issues but uh, for government and other uh, some of the policies they are having they are covering but in general if you talk the people are also not aware so we have to work on this next slide next slide please next slide hello
next slide next slide please now uh, we are uh, near to ending the session now let us understand what are the seven trends to develop in practice with the new dimensions we have to uh, focus on these seven trends which are very essential for everyone if you want uh, to develop in uh, mental health department first is early diagnosis and early intervention so try to identify uh, as early as possible identify the case take necessary intervention and treat the patient or do primary prevention so take the necessary strategies followed to reduce the number of psychiatric patients so first is early diagnosis and treatment has to be taken care second trend which is uh, necessary for development practice that's genetic discoveries at molecular level that will help in uh, modifying pharmacotherapy so that is to uh, now uh, Uh, researchers are working even on genetic impact uh, uh, leading to molecular pathophysiology and biotechnology prevent to disease modifying pharmacotherapy so if we focus on this genetic we cannot neglect now the people are working on this this will bring definitely bring change the neuroplasticity or neural uh, response as a uh, symptoms target as seen in the spectral atrophy at cellular and molecular level document in depression mania and uh, psychosis so neuroplasticity is another uh, practice which is helping in understanding the patient response in psychosis even mania and depression uh, death of neural cells so this is a new advancement neuroplasticity development next slide Therapeutic agents such as caspases inhibitors to stop uh, apoptosis, neurogenesis, stimulate and enhance the nerve growth. So, therapeutic agents also this is the new advancement development which helps in enhancing the nerve growth factors. Then it helps in proper treatment in case of uh, psychiatry. Then in some of uh, settings and. new development the neuro stimulation for the brain repair even ecg is also used earlier it was not practiced ecg only was used for the treatment but for neuro stimulation now it is used this is new uh, development then pharmacogenesis uh, pharmacogenomics in clinical practice has predictive values so with the help of this we can identify for example poor metabolizer experience side effects at lower dose whereas fast metabolic phase to respond and resistant so pharmacogenetic screening is useful in customized drug treatment so pharmacogenetic they have the strategies to find out what type of drug and dose is required as per the patient requirement so if your dose is high then the person will have adverse effect if that your dose of the drug is less then you will not be effect, effective in your treatment so this is a new uh, advancement then collaborative model intertuning and physical and mental disorder is required now we all are working with the team even government is working that under one roof all the apathy uh, should work together even uh, homeopathy yoga naturopathy unani and uh, even all hospitals should have their so uh, that is very very important now the, the people are working with this next slide last one what are the uh, seven dimension for wellness of health this include your overall health not at uh, only mental health so seven dimensions of your wellness required your physical we have to be physically fit then emotional we have to uh, be very emotionally strong then uh, in current scenario we have to, due to corona we have to have the emotional stability then intellectual we have to use our intellectual capacity then social spiritual environment and an occupational or voc- uh, vocational dimension all these seven dimension helps in understanding your health but 
to become more effective health as well as physical and mental health we have to have the multi dimensional approach which includes your wellness that you start your uh, day with your happiness smile work with uh, your uh, competency don't be fearful we uh, have to be confident then work with uh, your uh, awareness so these all the dimensions are uh, required for each and every one for the developments so now uh, we have come to the end of the uh, this session if you have any doubt uh, you, you are welcome for your question question answer session take home message for this that is misconcept is a major challenge in mental health even today so we have to deal with this future role and respons responsibility are ch uh, challenging in psychiatric ward so we have to think about this there is lack of clinical guidance there is lack of clinical guidance in uh, healthcare so uh, value based education will help to overcome from this situation then we have to focus on research activity involvement to bring change in development of mental health so at the last if we look at the indian scenario i am going to give you some facts that 7.5% people with mental disorder in india so out of 100% if you talk 7.5% people are suffering with some or other type of mental disorder in india this is as per the survey of uh, yesterday's newspaper from the bhaskar uh, this survey was done and the facts are 7.5% people are suffering with some sort of mental disorder 5.6 crore suffering with depression in india itself then 7.5% indians are suffering with some other mental disorder then 20% of people will suffer with mental disorder by 2020 this was before corona now i think after uh, impact of corona the uh, the percentage may increase up to uh, i think 30 to 40% so this is very challenging situation we have to manage this then uh, due to this corona the mental issues has to be taken care so we have to be very careful with this so be careful not fearful be happy be healthy and enjoy your day thank you thank you everyone now you are welcome for your if you have any doubt yes if you have any doubt please you are welcome for your question session हेलो दोज यू हैव डाउट्स कैन रेज देयर हैंड वी विल अनम्यूट देम या इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस प्लीज यू आर वेलकम Uh, we have to think the mental aspect with current scenario also with corona also so uh, we all health professionals medical team fraternity they are also perceiving some sort of the stress so to reduce that intensity of stress we need to have uh, practice yoga meditation relaxation strategies then uh, enjoy your day
for corona also the mental issues which are enhancing because of fearful initially the mental health issues were high the fear was very high at the top but now gradually the patients uh, corona now patients number is increasing but the fear of the people is reducing that may be because of exposure because of awareness so mental issues we cannot ignore whether they are student faculty or team manager or leaders so if you have any question please ask your questions anil ji am i audible you are sir you are audible yeah yeah Yes, sir. Am I? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Namaste, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, wonderful session. Very informative session. Thanks. And the, so nicely you have kept the statistic in front of us and the challenges towards the health economic. Uh, that also so nicely you have quoted. You have put uh, uh, put forward many more challenges in front of uh, I think society as well because many of the viewers at present they are available at the Zoom and there are many. Who are uh, able to watch you through the YouTube channel? So you kept so a nice uh, statistic about so that uh, it should not be for the effort of the people, but they should take care of this. So here we request the participant if they have any question, then they can ask, or else they can uh, write it in the chat box, or else those who are watching it YouTube on YouTube, they can also write down in the YouTube channel. Yes. Yes. If you have any question, please forward. Hello. Yes. Yes, Rashmi ji. Just, just a minute. Hello, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, sir, I want to ask one question. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yes. Sir, uh, what do you think? What are the new research areas in Indian context for mental health? Adam. Hello. Yes, new research, research areas in India, Indian context. In, in mental health, sir. Mental health, we have to focus mainly the patient because now we have the challenge. For example, schizophrenia, dementia. Still, we are in the process with the help of the drugs. We are trying to manage the condition and situation of the patient. So this is the area where we can go for the research. We come, uh, we can come with the new drugs or new technology or new treatment strategies, which will help in uh, changing the life of the patients, schizophrenia, dementia, and other psychotic disorder. The reason the people, those who are working in the psychiatric department or in clinical area, the research work which is uh, we are doing that is having more gap. Theory and practice. So we have to now the clinical area has to be taken care. So then only we'll be in condition to benefit the society or community. Sitting in the room and college and doing the research work is not going to help anybody. So if we want to help the society, help the needy or patient, we have to focus in clinical area. Clinical area may include that is the challenge that is. The suicidal rates are why they are increasing. This is the area of research. Even after doing the counselling, we are losing many people. The data I have shared with you, around eight lakhs people every year they are dying and committing suicide. So we have to focus. Even after treatment, even after psychotherapy, why this is happening? Even when you have a lot of name, fame. Why the people are committing suicide? We have to think because your self satisfaction is very important. If you are satisfied, then everything is good. If you are not satisfied, you get anything. You are dissatisfied. You are not happy. Nothing is going to help. So we have to understand the strength of quality of research in clinical area, mainly with the schizophrenia patient, mainly with the depression, psychotic features. We have to cover more because now, if you look at uh, the researches which are done in India, you find hardly research or published. So I request all the uh, students, those who are joining this or uh, faculty, whoever is taking the research project, please 
try to involve you in the clinical because theoretical we are very good but when it comes to the matter of the clinical practice we are fail in that so that gap has to be uh, filled up with the practice we have to work collaborative with the teaching as well as as clinical if the patient the patient the student is not exposing for your uh, that in clinical area then how they will understand so i feel and uh, the icmr and who they are also suggesting the people please take up the clinical research project clinical trial for example if i uh, talk about the corona and now the everybody all the countries worldwide they are working to develop the vaccines for corona the same way so that the clinical practices research work has to be taken care mainly psychotic schizophrenia than dementia and depression they are challenges for all of us avasti sir yes sir ah uh, in the uh, recent time it has been observed that earlier when we uh, about to classify the diseases there were yes. only the psychiatric diseases which were kept uh, under consideration of the you know psychiatric illness for example schizophrenia depression mania and kind yes. but nowadays there are lot of uh, such physical health which has been included lot of uh, mental issues yes sir um uh, so how this uh, dynamic uh, situations are arising the who and american psychiatric association and uh, we have in uh, indian mental health uh, classifications so whatever the new researches and new things which are coming the, they are including that but the un- because of uh, uncertainty because of uh, resources limitations the things are not functioning that it should be done so we are having many challenges so to understand it the basic concept for uniformity we have to take in consideration that is included icd and dsm classification to understand that still uh, the dsm 5 or icd 10 we are using still we have to work there are many specific unspecified category which is are not included we are confused with that some of the chapters are missing so that has to be work out and we have to include them the legislation act so we have to work with the competency and knowledge so that is required okay well there are some more questions uh, yes, in the chat box uh, like uh, the question is why are indians more susceptible to mental disorders uh, specifically depression and is there any reason for that pardon pardon you are not audible this the question is uh, why are indians more susceptible to mental disorders especially depression and what is the reason for this say not in only indians are suffering with depression it is worldwide but uh, in india the people having uh, different different uh, aspect of life expectations different different challenges even if we talk about the male or female ratio as per the age failure rate training competency their uh, response are changes so in india if we uh, find the people the pattern is changing even loving uh, living style support system in initial olden days we were having joint family concept even we were not much concerned about even uh, what is the stress they were not knowing but if you talk about a child of 5 to 6 year they start mere se baat mat karo mujhe stress ho raha hai so how, what type of culture we are having what type of rearing caring practices we are having that is influencing we do not have proper support system we do not have proper uh, sharing feelings we do not have uh, proper communication so they are ignored they are suppressed and we do not have proper health facilities because of that people are uh, so much uh, uh, depressed and they do not come forward they start keeping themselves isolated people are not aware why the changes are taking place even family, family member they do not understand so that is very important you find any alarming change in anyone please take it seriously take in notice of other if eoc requires any referral services or uh, intervention that has to be taken care so your self esteem has to be increased so in india if we have the failures 
competencies if you are, yes sir so just to add uh, because it has been a famous quote that if you are rich and not depressed then you are not rich yeah. so uh, how how it is been connected with the depression is this a trend that if you are richer then you have to show that you are depressed not it not like that to become richer there is no need of to be depressed to richer you have to develop you have to inculcate you have to extend your knowledge so knowledge does not require dep depression depression is because I mean, when we are not and in recent studies i have seen that uh, at a uh, few uh, systematic reviews has been conducted on that and they are saying that if you are rich and you are not depressed it means you are not rich not so how it is being connected uh, it's uh, totally you know undigestible yeah, yeah. Uh, even i don't agree with my this. question uh, to be serious point my question is this that uh, is this connected depression is being connected with the lifestyle of the people uh, yeah that is fact the, uh, all your mental concern your mental health is uh, related to your health but the depression not uh, that you are rich and you should have the depression that uh, i don't agree with this Yes, Jim. Is there are few more questions? I think in the chat box. Yes, sir. Uh, another question is that uh, what as a psychiatric nurse can we do in this COVID-19 situation and post-COVID-19 uh, situations, and uh, also with regarding to e-learning of students, uh, is there a psychiatric aspect related to it? The exercise which you can do that is uh, you practice yoga. Meditation is the best to relieve your tension, stress. Give time for self. then take plenty of food and uh, even do not use digital platform for longer time now we are getting the uh, that uh, many of the students they are addicted for uh, mobile and uh, internet so this is another challenge which we are facing then uh, whenever and wherever you get chance relax yourself then if you have any mental and health issues talk with your friends communicate maintain social distance not emotional distance very very important talk with your friends talk with your family members do not ignore do not ignore yourself and your family if you are sitting in other countries and your family members are in india or vice versa we cannot say i cannot the digital platform you can use but with the caution with the limitation that is very important since morning till evening if you are on net then uh, definitely you will be irritable then simultaneously you you, you will develop all behavioral problems later and uh, you may end up with the mental problems so exercise which you can do as a psychiatric nurse that wherever you are working whenever you get time or if you are at home do yoga practice meditation do, uh, do uh, deep breathing exercise relaxation techniques that will relieve your tension don't worried about future even corona is not permanent permanent it is going to change as the time change the things will change so be hopeful be confident but do not ignore so that is very important i think that answers the next question as well which uh, says that how should we balance our mental health while treating mental i mean the psychiatric patients as well yeah to maintain your mental health there is first and foremost you identify your hobby right hobby is very important to keep you healthy and mentally fit if you are uh, your hobby is playing cricket reading books watching tv movie listening music whatever you work on that do not watch negative news for longer time corona if you watch television since morning they are giving the news these many patients are increasing we cannot do anything but you become panic so you take the information resources from uh, authentic source and try to minimize to update with the negative news morning or evening just you see how many cases but we have to take care follow the guidelines given by the government social distancing hand hygiene then uh, using face mask important
then uh, do not then have set routine pattern in your day to day life so do not become lazy since morning and evening you do not have any sort of your uh, routine so you you can have flexible routine set of your work start follow that you have future plan also after the once the uh, corona is uh, uh, finished then how i am going to manage my financial issues how i am going to manage my family issues so that has to think thank you sir any more questions avasthi sir how you see the status of nurse led mental health clinic status of mental health nurses it is now so uh, it's nurse leading mental health clinics especially in the peripheral areas yeah it's do now, we have scope of it yeah now according to who the psychiatric the uh, 2020 is going to be psychiatric area psychiatric era so we have lot of opportunities for psychiatric uh, professionals psychiatrists psychiatric nurse counselor they, they have lot of demand even in schools you find many of student they have some or other behavioral problem now government is making it mandatory to have one counselor in each schools so there is a vast uh, good scope for all the uh, psychiatry people those who are uh, having training or planning to uh, adopt this department uh, because day by day number of uh, stressful events and conditions are increasing so we, we need manpower only we have 4000 trained qualified personnel as a psychiatric team member in india to deal with this all the issues if the people are having 30 to 40% of uh, population is having behavioral mental problems so for that we need people there are no professionals so there is lot of scope and demand even impact of corona you will find that the demand of uh, need someone Sir, we Hello, I think we, lo we lost Sir's voice. Yeah. Uh, sir, will you check your audio system? Sir, uh, we're not able to hear you actually. Hello. Yes, yes, we are now. Hello. Yes, able to yes, hear. sir. Yes, sir. Is one more question coming? Sir. In? Jamin sir, in connection to my previous question, uh, I think we lost the sir's voice. Um, sir, can you just repeat the last sentences that you said? Uh, the nurse-led clinics. Nurse-led uh, mental health clinic. Uh, actually, I wanted to know the scope in Indian context as well as is there any place in the world such clinics are working? and if they are working then what is the success rate ratio of those clinics because we are aware about the nurse led midwife clinic nurse led diabetic clinic nurse led uh, cardiovascular clinic and they are very successful yeah even uh, in psychiatry the nurse psychiatry clinics they also are very effective but the problem is what we do not have proper personnel trained resources are not available but if we uh, look at the uh, success rate it is very successful because these are the people who are uh, approaching the needy people and doing counseling and they are getting referral services and treatment so no doubt in that it's very effective and uh, Uh, 2020 this is going to be the psychiatric era according to who the majority of people are going to face the, the psychiatric challenges so to deal with that we required manpower so definitely the 2020 is going to be psychiatric era we are having many challenge corona earthquake and previously sars and other issues are there so, yes so to deal with this all issues cyclone and all so we need some counselor and psychiatrist and the psychiatric professional so there is a lot of scope there is one more question in the chat box uh, are nurses empowered to make decisions at the observation level in a clinical setup that is in a psychiatric hospital yeah if we uh, i discussed active and passive role initially uh, we were involved in this passive role but now 
the scenario is change if you are competent if you are knowledgeable if you are skillful and with the work uh, pattern or your efficiency you get uh, recognition from your team that definitely they are involved many of my friends they are working in psychiatry department in clinical area they are leading the hospital psychiatrists just help the uh, discuss and uh, most of the things things done by them my many friends they are working in foreign countries they are independently dealing with the situation so now the scenario is change with uh, that may be because of empowerment of education and uh, science and technology so we have to take see for right you have to fight you have to create your opportunity easily you will not get anything so we have to show the talent we have to uh, prove ourselves then only you will get place in any team rightly mentioned sir rightly mentioned yes jamin sir is there anything no i think we are done with the questions uh, the question already asked i think we have dealt with it the nurse led clinics okay assuming okay. we have no more questions yes sir okay thank you for giving me opportunity anil ji deepak ji and uh, your all uh, team yeah is there any more question jamin sir is there any any more questions oh, no 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 sir uh, no and questions the chat box thanks uh, jamin ji also for uh, giving me opportunity to join with all wonderful participants and take home message uh, from this webinar is think about yourself be mentally healthy if you are mentally fit and fine you can face any challenge because the whole life is full of challenges starting day even when we come in this world first time the challenge for the survival we have to start the spontaneous respiration at the time of the work so challenges you will get everywhere but we have to make this challenges in opportunity we have to convert that same thing with the corona india was not having even single pp kit and manufactured in india but this challenges convert in opportunity i think per day now india is manufacturing 3 to 4 lakhs pp kit so same way we have to be very uh, careful in that so uh, do not fearful be careful follow the guidelines given by the government that is uh, even for corona hand hygiene using mask social distancing take plenty of oral fluids eat healthy diets yoga and meditation practice that is very very important if you have any fearful situation do not hesitate to discuss with your colleague your friend your parents your family do not keep any issue with you let it come out the people are there to help you so that is very very important and once again i thanks anil ji and deepak ji and all their team member for organizing this webinar and giving this opportunity thank you one and all thank you thank you avasti ji for this wonderful session and accepted uh, accepting our this invitation for this webinar and it was always pleasure to listen you and the new things we have learned from the, out of this session the objectives are met the way you have dealt with this session was uh, extraordinary and i think uh, the there are many more motivational inspirational quotes we have uh, you know heard from uh, this webinar so thank you so much for this wonderful session and keeping us all the sensitive about the mental health thank you sir thank you thank you thank you everyone yeah. bye bye sir bye bye, bye.